welcome back to another weekly vlog so today it is tuesday i didn't really film anything yesterday because my partner and i just spent the day together we ended up going on a bit of a walk um at mount tambourine if you follow my instagram you would have seen that um and yeah it was just really nice um and then i ended up having a huge ibs flare last night because i have irritable bowel syndrome um, and then woke up this morning feeling absolutely awful and I ended up going back to sleep and sleeping for a couple of hours until about 10 30 um, And then my mum came over just to hang out. I think also kind of to check on me, but Yeah, so I'm feeling much better. Um, I took some of the medication that I have for it um, And just kind of rest a little bit and I'm feeling much better um, and I think it might be from I was taking some vitamins to like try and clear my skin um, so I was taking zinc and some other ones and some iron tablets um, and my like trying to heal my skin because it's breaking out and I think it has made my IBS flare so you can't win you can't win um, so now I'm just sitting at my desk in my second office because I've set up two rooms in this house as my office is now so the other one is kind of like my reading room now and this one is my office with my desk um which I think I might have shown but I will probably show you again throughout I'm just not going to show at the moment because it is covered in stuff because I have been applying for jobs and so many of the jobs that I'm applying for need like proof of identification and like certificates and stuff so I kind of just got everything out laying it out here on my desk trying to decipher everything and work out what jobs I'm applying for so I've applied for quite a few already um, and then I'm just setting up some accounts to potentially do some support working next year so that's exciting so I still need to do some like courses and qualifications for that um, and like just get it all set up and running um, but yeah looking promising so far I have to remind myself that it is a process it's not gonna happen straight away because I got so overwhelmed and so like I'm not gonna find a job yesterday um, when I started doing it but then I realized like it's only been th like three days today of January <laughs> um, and I only really started looking at the end of last month so I need to give myself some time and it is a process it's not going to happen straight away so yeah that's what's going on for me at the moment I was going to go on a walk later today that was my plan um, but I just don't think my body is up for it because it's been through a wild 24 hours so I think we're just gonna take it chill tomorrow I am going on a I'm just gonna take it chill today I think um, I am going on a hike tomorrow with my friend, um, so that'll be my exercise tomorrow, that'll make up for not going on one today. Um, and I'm now just sitting down to do day three of Georgie Stevenson's Do It For Your Future Self course. I enrolled in it at the end of last month um, because I've been really wanting to do courses like this um, and hers was actually one of the cheapest options that I found, which I was really thankful for because some courses are so so expensive um, so we're up to day three of that day one and two has been pretty good so far um, the first day was just like auditing your last year and like understanding your highs and lows of the years and then day two was like leaving everything behind like moving forward releasing any negative energy and stuff so we're gonna do day three today which is um, your life buckets I'm not sure what that means yet but I'm sure we will find out shortly um, and then I kind of want to clean up in this office a little bit and maybe move in my like trolley thing and put it in here with just like my camera equipment and stuff that I use on the, the daily so yeah welcome back to another weekly vlog All right, we're running a tad late. We're going out to brunch with a friend this morning. This is the fit. Um, we're running a tad bit late because there was a giant spider downstairs. So we had to go and deal with that. Um, so yeah, this is the fit for today. It's supposed to be really hot today. So I hope I don't regret wearing jeans. But yeah. Charlie Bear. Hi. 
Did you miss me? Okay, so a few hours have passed, more than a few. Um, I spoke about going out to breakfast with my friend this morning and it ended up being really lovely. Um, and then I ended up going out shopping with my mum after because it's my brother's birthday this weekend and I haven't got him anything yet, but I do now. So um, I just got him a couple of pieces of clothes and stuff. This video should go up before his birthday. So yeah, and now I'm cooking some dinner. I think we're gonna have some tacos because I've been craving tacos. So I'm cooking up some mints. Um, and then I think we're going to get Krispy Kremes after because I'm also craving Krispy Kremes. Part of me is like, maybe you shouldn't get Krispy Kremes because your skin is breaking out again. But you win some, you lose some. So yeah, just making some tacos. Shane is on his way home from work and Charlie's staring at me from outside. Charlie Bear, come here. Come on. Good boy. Come here. Can say hi? Say hi to everyone. Say hi everyone. Look. You're a kitty. I think I need to cut his face again already because he can't see. You're such a big boy now. Still mama's boy though, aren't you? Still mama's boy. Okay, hello and happy Thursday. Um, I'm just sitting down at my desk. As you can see, I'm a little bit more fancy today. Um, I actually have a job interview in about 10 minutes, um, which is exciting and also kind of terrifying. Um, I didn't apply for this job. Um, I did put my resume up on a, like, not a recruitment, but like, I was applying for other jobs on a website and um, a recruitment officer must have seen my profile and he contacted me a couple of days ago asking if I'd be interested in sitting an interview and I said I'd give it a go so the job I believe is a teaching job which isn't a hundred percent what I was looking for but I said I was willing to have the interview and see what the job is about and see if I'm interested so yeah that starts in 10 minutes um, so I'm just sitting at my desk waiting. I'm not feeling 100% about it. Like um, I kind of started a business for myself um, a couple of days ago as well. And it is kind of going successfully for the beginning of two days. I already have a couple of clients. Um, and I don't know that thinking about that is kind of making me really happy. And this is like, oh, uh, I'm not sure about it, but I'm still gonna give it a go and see how it goes and if I'm interested or not. Um, and maybe he'll have some other options for me because he works for a company that's not a school, but they do have schools attached to them. Um, and he said that the role could potentially be a teacher. Um, so there could be other roles within the company that we could chat about, but yeah, not quite sure. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> I haven't done too many interviews in my life. I've done, probably about four or five um, and most of them were pretty chill like my first ever job as a teacher was handed to me um, without interviewing um, because I was doing prac at that school so there wasn't really an interview process um, and then I had another interview at a school when I did teacher aiding and I already knew the person so it wasn't really an interview it was kind of just like welcome <laughs> So yeah, and then when I had my first ever job at Coles, it was a similar thing. My dad knew the store manager, so yeah. The last job interview that I did do though, um, oh well, 
the the last one I did was at the school that I was at but I already knew the people so it was kind of chill but the one before that went quite well um, and I was pretty happy with how I interviewed and I ended up getting that job but I declined it so I think I interview well but we'll see I've got to think about what questions I want to ask as well because I often find in interviews they ask you a lot of questions about how you would be fit for the role but I feel like you also need to be able to ask questions to them to see if the role is suitable for you as well not just if you're suitable for the role because um, there might be non-negotiables for you as the worker going in so I've got to think about what questions I want to ask as well hello and happy friday i'm in exactly the same location because i left my camera in here um but i realized that i did not give you a little bit of an update after my um job interview yesterday so it went really well it went for about 45 minutes to an hour but really didn't feel like it which is good because if job interviews feel like they drag on it's quite terrible um but it went really well he was very impressed with me. He said that multiple times, which is good. Um, said that all of my beliefs and values really came through when I was talking. Yeah, said some really nice things. Um, so I have another job interview with some more people um, from the company next week. He hasn't given me a date yet. It's either gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday um, where I'm going to actually go in and see how it works and have another job interview and whatnot. So that'll be next week. Um, I'm still not 100% on the job, um, just because it is a teaching role again. Um, and that was something that I thought I wouldn't do again. So I'm still open to it. I'm still gonna go and check it out because, yeah, I don't wanna say no to something that I haven't even looked at. So that'll be next week. He did ring me yesterday and asked if I could write a little bit of a blurb. Um, just to show the other people. I don't really know, but I said I would, so I need to do that today. Um, and then after that, yesterday, I went and hung out with my friend for the day and we kind of are in the same boat because we both left teaching at the same time. Um, so we were kind of applying for things together, kind of helping each other with the process. Um, there was a few things that I had already done. So I was kind of helping her through that or more just being there for moral support because some of it is quite like intense just a lot of information that you have to give and yeah just a lot of stuff so ended up doing that and i met, made a vision board for my phone as well yesterday i haven't set it as my background yet but i will be doing that but i'll still show you so this is it so we've got some of my favorite youtubers or instagrammers on there um, and then just some of like the goals that aligned with um, my other vision board that you would have seen if you watched my preparing for 2023 video. So yeah, I'm going to make that my background now because otherwise I will forget. All set so I can see it every single day. I should have added a picture that was the I'm so lucky, but I couldn't find any um, images like that. I might make something on Canva and share it because, you know, that's something that I've wanted and it's not there. I think I've spoken about it, but my Apple Watch stopped working and I'm really sad about it. Like every single morning I wake up and want to put on my Apple Watch and do some sort of movement, but I don't have my Apple Watch and I feel like it's making me less productive, which is probably a terrible thing to say because I just need to be productive within myself. But my Apple Watch just kept me really accountable and now I miss it. I asked Shane if he could buy me one for like Valentine's Day or something or like really, really early birthday present because I really really do okay we are on to day five and six of uh georgie stevenson's do it for your future self because i missed yesterday because i forgot about it because i wasn't home so we're gonna do that maybe i'll write that paragraph first i need to write down everything that i need to do today because i will forget i did everything i wanted to do yesterday which was good and then I'm going away camping tomorrow, so I'll bring you along for that um, because it'll be the first time that Shane and I have gone away camping with my family together. 
um, and he really doesn't love that kind of stuff. So it'll be fun. Um, we're going to like some place that doesn't have phone service and there's like a creek and stuff. So it might be really nice just to take a couple of days to like chill out and not have any contact with the outside world. It will be difficult in the sense of I've just started my business and I have lots of people like reaching out wanting to book in time so that I can work with them. Um, so <laughs> that will be difficult because I won't be able to contact any of them, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. It's recording! Teddy's, Teddy's got the full bar effect. It's Mitchell. Katie, do you want a video? You have got my head in the clouds. together we always have fun throughout the day i do anything to get your attention when you say you love me i seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love i don't know what i would do without you because all i need all i need is you To the clouds One, two, three Please just need your company Don't need too much Just your simple love in it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice Every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love in it's Hey, hello. So I just sat down to edit this weekly vlog and I realized that I didn't really do much talking while I was away. So it didn't really make sense. Um, but I went away with my family and my partner and Charlie for the weekend and we went to Lady Brook Farm. It's just outside of Bow Desert and it's um, just a farm that has camping along a creek. Um, so I spent the weekend there with my family swam in the creek um just did some chilling there was no reception so it was really nice to like be off the phone for a little while and spend some time with the people that i care about so yeah the clips that you would have seen would have been from that i don't think i took too many but i also used my partner's gopro so there might be some gopro footage in here as well um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog and stay tuned because i am going to continue the weekly vlogs so thank you very much for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really supports me. And I will see you next week.